Welcome everyone here to Western Oregon University. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce to you, les quiero presentar a representative. Es un estudiante. He's a student here at Western Oregon University and he's representing 15 miles west and he's going to lead us in the U.S. National Anthem. Por favor, welcome Eli Schenk representing 50 miles west. De pie, por favor, please stand. Buenos días. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs burned Sting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave? Or the
Gracias. All right, guys, how are we doing today? That's it? Are we asleep? Are we awake? I want to hear you guys. Are we here today? Are we awake? Are we happy to be here? Come on, me hear ya. Yeah. All right, my name is Jessica Ruiz, and I am here to welcome you on behalf of the entire Cesar Chavez Leadership Committee to welcome you to our 27th annual Cesar Chavez Leadership Conference. Are you excited to be here? We have a lot of great things in store for you, a lot of great people that you're gonna hear from. Your keynote is off the charts, so he is going to be amazing. You are going to enjoy him, and we're super excited to have you here. Dave is gonna go over some rules, because I like to be loud, he likes to keep order. So he's gonna come and tell you about what we need to do. But before I go, I wanna hear really loudly, all of us together. Se puede o no se puede? Si se puede o no se puede? Si se puede. No, si se puede. Good job, thank you guys. Well, mira, ya conocieron a Jessica. Uh, I'm not sure if you knew, pero she's a graduate of Western Oregon University. Entonces, just so you know that. Um, again, my name is David Martinez, and I'm representing a group of individuals que empezaron, they started since last May preparing for today. And it's really important para nosotros, one of the things that I think is, 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 is part of la cultura is to say gracias, is to say thank you. So definitely the planning committee that represents each of your schools, each of your regions, they have been working and organizing and with the support of their school districts has made this possible. Entonces, today, all of us have a job. Todos nosotros tenemos un trabajo. And it's really important that we recognize this job that we have. So the, the people with the purple shirts, the purple shirts, los estudiantes, the people, the staff with the purple shirts, please stand up. Please stand up. Or wave, wave, OK? These individuals, el trabajo de ellos, their job, they are volunteers, Western Oregon University students that are here today that will be responsible for making sure that you, los estudiantes, you, the schools, that you are able to get to your workshops, that you're able to stay on schedule, and that you don't get lost. Entonces es muy importante, it's very important that when the people in the purple shirts Y si te piden algo, if they ask you to do something, que por favor, les das respeto. You pay respect and you let them lead wherever you're going. Okay, un aplauso para ellos. So now, um, another important, important group of people. The individuals wearing the blue shirts. Entonces, if you can stand, all the school representatives, representatives, you're wearing the blue shirt. Un aplauso para ellos. Siempre decimos, we always say, this conference is a partnership. It's a partnership with the people in your school, in your building. Entonces, the teachers, the counselors, the school staff that are here with you. Estoy hablando con los estudiantes. I'm talking to the students here. The people that brought you today on the bus who woke up with you at like 4 or 5 in the morning to get here, their job is to support you and to make sure that you get the most out of your time here. Okay. Now, a very important group of people, important group of people, los estudiantes. De pie, por favor. The ones in the green kind of shirt. Is that the official color? <clears throat> yeah, un aplauso. Mira. Your job, el trabajo de los estudiantes, es el más importante. 
Your job is the most important because today, today, when you're on campus, cuando están escuchando, when you're hearing the presenters, when you're asking questions, para mí, this is the whole point. So please know you're representing your school. Y como nuestra cultura, you're representing your familia también. So please, please, we are so excited that you're here. And so this day is for you. The last group, well, two groups. One, un aplauso for the presenters and the volunteers and the school administrators that are here. Un aplauso. Again, they're volunteering their time to share their experiences. So this conference is not possible without the presenters, without the people that are giving up their day and sharing their, their uh, experience con todos nosotros. The last group that I want to recognize, and they're the ones that we're going to turn it over to them, OK? Porque ellos están, now they're in charge. These are the students from your schools that were selected to represent your region. So students first siempre. They're the ones that are going to be introducing the rest of the speakers today. Right. You'll see them again this afternoon, and they're going to be running the program. So if I could have the student leaders, student leaders, de pie, por favor. Un aplauso. Entonces, las últimas palabras for me, the last thing from me. So excited that you're here. So confident in the job we all have. And today, when you're walking around campus, any question that you have, you know which t-shirt to ask. When you see people in the red, red jacket, that's the planning committee. So les das gracias if you see them with a the little red jacket, OK? Now, now, les quiero presentar the representative from Oscar. Oscar, por favor. Now, te presento Oscar, our student leader. Are you guys excited? All right, so my name is Oscar Saldana, and I'm here representing Woodburn School District. And today, I'm presenting a man who was the former provost of Eastern Washington University. He created a college for health science and public health. He innovated um, student success programs for Eastern Washington. He was also instrumental at bargaining strategies for uh, faculty contracts. He also created the University Center for Community Engagement, and that man got his PhD in the University of Utah and uh, finished the Institute of Education Management from Harvard. And that man is the 23rd president of Western Oregon University, Rex Fuller. Thank you, Oscar. Good job. Thank you so much, Oscar. It's great to be here. I want to uh, ask you all to stand and took a look, look, take a look around the room. Over 2,000 strong. So stand up and enjoy the moment. Maybe take a selfie, <laughs> stretch your legs. I mean, just look at this great crowd. Those of us on the platform party had a chance to do a selfie earlier with all of you as you're getting settled, so enjoy this moment. Well, once again, welcome to Western Oregon University and the Chaser Chavez Leadership Academy, the 27th year. 2,000 strong now more than ever. You have joined students from throughout the Willamette Valley for this annual event in honor of Chaser Chavez. This event is the largest Latino student leadership conference in the Pacific Northwest. The conference began in 1990 as a gathering of high school students from the Portland Public School Districts. The first event took place in early February. And on the day before the event, a snowstorm hit Portland, much like this year's winter. Despite that, 125 determined students found their way to that conference, and here we are 27 years later. Today, yes, a round of applause. <laughs> Today,
Today, over 2,000 strong, you're here today to find out about opportunities that lie ahead. And I encourage you to listen carefully, expand your wings, think about your future, plan now to attend college and graduate. Students from the participating schools are eligible to participate in various competitions throughout the year, such as art, essay, poetry, video, and leadership. I also want to thank all the organizers who haven't been recognized already by David. Their names are listed in the programs, and I encourage you to thank them throughout the day. As you know, the mission is to instill in our Latino and Latina youth the value of education, which nurtures mind, body, and spirit in order to develop a social consciousness that empowers you as leaders for social justice, civic responsibility, and the greater community. And how profound is that where we are today in our times? It is so important that you're here. So a round of applause for your volunteering. As the president of Western Oregon University, I'm especially proud to be here because you are the future of this nation. You're the future of this university. You're the future of this state. And make no doubt about it, we are here to support you no matter what. So in closing, I hope each of you makes plans now to go on, to graduate from high school, go on to college, graduate and finish, and then have great lives and support your, your families in ways that are very powerful. So I ask you again, just enjoy the day, soak up the knowledge, and set your aspirational goals high. Thank you. Next up, I would like to present Western Oregon University's Associate Provost, David McDonald. For 10 years, I've had the chance to say good morning and welcome you here. And for 10 years, I've had the opportunity to watch you attend this event and then go on and do great things. Many of our students that are wearing purple today were actually students in this, this conference. It is phenomenal. But today is your day. Today is the day we want you to really think hard about your future. Today is your day to learn, to push yourself, and then tomorrow is your day to give back. So I want you to make sure starting tomorrow, you share with your friends at home, your family members, things that you learned today. Because this conference is great, but it's even greater when we take the lessons we learn and expand it into our communities. So as President Fuller said, Today is really the start of your future, and we want you to be successful. So I'm going to invite all of you today to think of yourself not as participants in this conference, but rather, today, you are members of Western Oregon University. You are now wolves for the day. And as wolves, we expect you to ask great questions. We expect you to challenge yourselves. We expect you to take care of each other. But most of all, we expect you to succeed. We expect you, as students at Western Oregon, to be the best students. Now, I've done this for a long time, and one of the things I've learned is there's a lot of myths, a lot of false statements that stop us from being successful. And the ones I hear most with our Latino students is that it's too hard to go to college, it's too expensive to go to college, or Latino students don't graduate from high school or college. Well, those are all false. On this campus, our most successful students every year are our Latino students. They succeed as freshmen, they succeed as sophomores, all the way through graduation. And they do that because they join our family and we help each other out. I hear that college is not affordable, and it's true, it is expensive. But if you don't go to college, that is even more expensive. There are ways for you to pay for college. There are ways for, in fact, you're gonna to talk to college reps today, and we have a new sponsor with us today as well, um, Dream US, who has some opportunities for dreamers that weren't available even last year. So there are new opportunities for all of us. And we really encourage you today, if you want to go to college, please ask questions of the many college representatives here about how they have scholarships and financial aid for you. There is money available. Speaking of money, as part of our commitment to this conference, this year again, Western Oregon University is going to give $40,000 in scholarships to you. And
And that money is a small part of the overall bit of money that's available to all of you from all kinds of schools. So please, if you have the dream to go to college, don't give up on it. Ask us how we can help you pay for college and get you into college. Now, there are a lot of great sponsors today, and I know that our hosts and such will talk about them, but I want to make sure that you acknowledge them throughout the day, especially ECMC, which has been with us for 10 years and has given us considerable support. So thank you again, and remember today you are Western Oregon University students. Thank you. All right, next up is Alex Gonzalez from the College Place, Oregon. Thank you. Uh, ECMC in the College Place, Oregon is proud to um, celebrate its 10th anniversary of sponsoring this conference. Uh, we're excited. The College Place, if you don't know who we are, we're a free resource for college advising. Um, we are based in PCC, uh, Sylvania campus in Portland, but we, you might hear about us through college nights throughout Oregon. So we support your college nights with pizza and scholarships. Um, in addition to that, we have another scholarship program called ECMC Scholars that we support eight schools throughout um, the state of Oregon and additional, we provide supports for those students that receive scholars, scholarships. So it's scholarships with support. We have an additional scholarship this year through the OSAC scholarship and we'll continue to do that. So seniors, look for us. We weren't on um, the the catalog, but we, we secretly seek you out and find and, and award you scholarships. So juniors, sophomores, and uh, freshmen, um, make sure that you're applying to the Oregon College uh, um, Common Application for scholarships. Um, but it really is about you. Um, I will be tabling in the, um, in the college fair, so if you have questions about college, we help with um, college access with your applications, with financial aid, um, and scholarships as well. So please enjoy the day. Thank you. Uh, seize the day. Embrace your opportunity that you have here. Um, and thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Are you guys awake? Come on, guys, you guys don't sound awake. Louder, come on! Okay, much better. My name is Manuela. I'm here representing the Multnomah region. Shout out to David Douglas High School. So it is my great pleasure to present to you guys a person who is an amazing guy. He is down to earth and humorous. He has dedicated his entire life to create positive change in communities all over the country. And he has inspired over 350,000 youth and community members. And he will definitely inspire you. Everybody, please help me give a hand to Roy Juarez. Thank you, Thank you so much. Now when she asked, what do I say? I said, just tell her my name's Roy. But uh, thank you for that amazing introduction. I'll be completely honest with you guys, I'm extremely nervous. And I've been speaking now, I've been in almost every state in the continental United States, 45 states. And I've been sharing my story all across this country. And every single time I get before an audience, my stomach starts to turn, my heart races. But I've always told myself, Roy, never allow fear to keep me from doing what I believe in. And what I believe in is each and every one of you, but I have to explain why I say that. You see, I grew up as a homeless kid. I first became homeless at the age of 14 with my nine-year-old sister and my two-year-old brother due to domestic violence. I would have loved to come and wear a teal shirt and come to an amazing conference. But what breaks my heart is that in this country, there is an estimated 1.6 million homeless teenagers who I'm sure more than half just dream of having the opportunity that you have today. I remember going to high school graduation, and there was this cut in the curtain. You could see all the audience. I'm standing behind the curtain. My friend Emory Johnson's ahead of me. They call his name. He walks forward. He grabs his diploma, and I step forward. Man, and I, I could see everyone. And they call my name, and, and I walk forward, and, and I grab my diploma. What I didn't realize that day was I wasn't grabbing a piece of paper. What I was grabbing was freedom. 
because that's what education is. It's freedom. It's freedom for your life. It's freedom for your mind. It's freedom for your family, for your community, for this country. Education is freedom. Call me optimistic or whatever, but I truly believe that we can all change tomorrow if we just change a little of who we are today for the better. But that change has to start in us. We have to be the change that we want to see. We have to replace hatred with love, anger with forgiveness. We have to be the change. In May of 2009, I went from eating ketchup packages in the streets of San Antonio, Texas as a homeless teenager to becoming a college graduate. But when I crossed that stage for the second time, education taught me so much. And the biggest gift that my education gave me was my mother. Because it taught me to separate the illness from the person. You see, guys, let me share something with you. Over 2,000 of you, let me share something with you. Parents, they're human. When I graduated college, I decided to live homeless for the second time in my life. Because I wanted to reach out to every young person that, that, that could understand my life and my story. I lived out of my car for two and a half years and I circled the entire country on a pro bono tour. No, it was no cost. It ran me over $200,000 that I had to raise, but it allowed me to speak to over 100,000 young people. Now we've been able to speak to about 350,000. Um, but I'm going to be doing my second tour, which is called Rescuing Our Youth Tour. And it's called Rescuing Our Youth as I cross the country. It's because it stands for ROY, R-O-Y, Rescuing Our Youth. And the reason it's called Rescuing Our Youth is because we're shooting a documentary. But this documentary is going to be about family. And the reason I say that is I've mended the relationship with my mother. And on this tour, I asked my biological dad, who we were in hiding from, if he would be willing to drive me. And when I asked him, he just started to cry and cry. And he says, I would love to, Roy. I said, Dad, but you need to think about it. I said, because we're going to have very deep conversations about what happened between us. And he says, I don't care. He says, I want to get a chance to know you. I said, I want to get to know you, Dad. I said, you know, you may die tomorrow. I may die tomorrow. I said, and I want to give us this gift of a relationship. So in August, on August 20th, I'm going to start my second tour, live out of my car, but my dad's going to be with me, my biological dad, and he's going to be the one to drive me. <laughs> Next slide, please. This is the tour, Rescuing Our Youth Impact Tour. Uh, I'm going to start up in Northern California, unless Oregon wants to be a part of it, I can move it a little further up. Uh, next slide, please. And on this tour, we're going to reach out to 100,000 young people as well. Uh, this is my family. Um, I'm the really cute one in the white dress. I mean, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm, I meant that's me. But let me ask you a question. Does this look like a face of a mother who wanted to hurt her kids? No. Parents are human. My mother's amazing. She was just broken. Next slide, please. These are my sisters, Amy, Tammy, and Danielle. Next slide. This is my sister, Amy, my Otis, who has probably the biggest heart out of all of us. This girl just loves and loves and loves and loves. This is my niece, who she had, while I was on my first tour, she was premature, three pounds, one ounce. We didn't think she was gonna make it, but she did. So I say she came out fighting, that she's still a little feisty. So we're not only saving for counseling, but we're also saving for college. <laughs> So we got to say for both. Next, please. This is my sister, Tammy. Tammy has to be the strongest one out of all of us. Because what we didn't know then that we know now was that my sister was being molested as a young girl. She was molested all the way up until the age of 12, becomes homeless at the age of 15. That is not a way to start life. I would not blame my sister if she had chosen to be bitter for the rest of her life, but she chooses to be better. My sister today is an advocate at the Rape Crisis Center, so any time of day or night if a young lady is sexually assaulted, my sister will go there and be with the girl through the entire process to make sure that she's not there alone. And I have to imagine that my sister has to relive everything she went through, but she does it so that she does, that girl does not have to be there alone. Man, she has to be the strongest one out of all of us. Next, please. This is my little sister, Danielle, the nine-year-old. She's obviously no longer nine because she has munchkins. But, um, this is like my daughter. I love, I love, I love this girl. She's an amazing young woman, a huge heart. I don't I can't imagine what my life would be without her. Oh my God, I don't even want to imagine. I love this baby. Hmm. Next, please. 
This is my little brother, Baby Ray. He's so cute. Look, he grew into his forehead. I love it. Uh, <laughs> Baby Ray is amazing. He's a junior in college. I made him a promise. You will go to middle school. You will go to high school. You will go to college. My baby brother is an amazing young man. You know, when I spoke at his high school, when he was in high school, he was in 10th grade, I spoke to seniors. And at the end of the presentation, someone asked, what happened to Baby Ray? I said, well, he's, he, he's here. Please welcome him to stage, right? So Baby Ray comes up, and he's in 10th grade. He's taller than me, he's skinnier than me, I hate him. Um, <laughs> so we're laughing and we're talking. And uh, I said, seniors, it was all seniors, 650. I said, before I leave, I said, I need to ask you for a favor. And Baby Ray's like, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? I said, I said, man, my baby brother hasn't been able to find a date to prom yet. <laughs> and his face turned red. Well, this real pretty little girl in the front row, she raised her hand and said, yes, ma'am. So she stands up and she said, well, does he like black girls? <laughs> and I look at baby Ray and he goes. Let me explain why I love, I love, I love that story. Let me explain why I love it. You know, there are some people in this life when they hurt, they want others to hurt. Let us not be like those people. I'm gonna say that again. There are some people in this life when they hurt, they want others to hurt. Let us not be like those people. If anything, let us want more for others, even if it means that they have more than what we have. We have to be better. Um, so that's my baby brother, he's amazing. Next slide. This is my mother and my stepdad, the police officer. I love, I love, I love this man. Did he make mistakes? Yes. But who hasn't made mistakes? It's important that we make it right. And he has. He's extremely good to my mother. I have not seen her smile like that in years. He is so good to us. He is so good to her. The past is the past. We've learned from it, but we're only going to let it make us better. Next picture, please. This is my biological dad. This was the first time in over 15 years we had a sit-down Thanksgiving dinner. And he loved it. And we loved it. So we're working on mending that relationship. Next slide, please. Life is too short to dream about tomorrow. Today's the day. You've got to dig deep, deep inside of you. Because you have that strength. Next slide, please. If you guys want to follow me, please, I need your help for the tour. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Last slide. Or you can just add me right now on Snap. <laughs> so if you decide to pull out your phone, I won't, be, I won't hold it against you. But if you do, if you do pull out your phone, I also want you to text your mom or dad, whoever you consider your mom or dad. Because for me, family isn't just the blood that runs through your veins. It's the love that's in your heart. I want you to text your family today. Tell them I love you and thank you. Text your mom or dad, whoever you consider, and say, I love you and thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for allowing me to share a part of my life with you. I hope you have an amazing conference. Thank you very, very, very much.